Hey guys, so it's Vlogmas again. So today I'm doing like a winter beauty slash going to bed routine. Um, so I do have my towel on and my hair's in plaits but I've just put it kind of up so it's up and out of the way because I'm about to go have a bath. So I will show you. So my bath is run. I have used part of my rainbow bubble bar from Lush. I got this one. I can't even remember when I got it. I got it not that long ago. Um, but yeah, best before. Um, it's got best before date on it. And it says it's fine. So yeah, I am about to go get in the bath. I'm going to get my iPad, Netflix, and put it on the stool. And enjoy my bath. And then do, like, I think I'm going to do, like, a face mask and stuff when I get out. And just kind of get ready for bed. So I'm out the bath. Uh, I'm just going to dry myself off pick some pajamas out um and then probably get a face mask of some sort on um i don't do a face mask every day obviously because it's not very good for you but i haven't done one in a little while so i decided i'm gonna do one okay, tonight so let's pick up pajamas so these are my tops over this side uh, i think i'm gonna go with this stitch one this is probably actually just a normal t-shirt i just wear it as pajamas so I'm going to go with that one and these grey stitch shorts. I always wear shorts to bed because even though my bed's not made at the minute, this is like a fluffy duvet. Um, so yeah. Okay, so um, I have quite a few different face masks. I've got loads of sheet ones and a couple of like clay ones out of the tube. So I'm just going to have a look. And um, because I'm an Avon rep as well, if you didn't already know, obviously I have quite a lot of their face masks. I've got a couple of Disney ones. I might do a Disney one. Oh, I've got quite a few Disney ones, actually. I think I am going to go for... I think I might use the Cheshire Cat one today. Yeah, we got Cheshire Cat. So a pomegranate face mask and this one is one of the ones that like looks like the character and this one you have to leave on for 10 to 12 minutes so let's get it out of the packet i'm gonna move you guys back slightly so i have some space to put it down oh it smells very good Ooh. This is the worst bit about face masks. It's like I'm peeling them. This one has got like a backing sheet to it as well. So this is the face mask. These are always really big for my skin. How much? How cute is that? Right, I'm going to take the backing paper off. Ugh. Yeah, these are always massive on my skin, on my face. Right. Mm. Mm, I like eating it. I think white might be good. It does look pretty cool, this one. So I'll catch you guys back in about 10 minutes. Okay, this is really scary coming back on here, not seeing my own face. Right, so it's been about five, ten, well, pretty about 10 minutes now. Uh, so we're gonna peel it off. That came off a lot easier than I thought. This one didn't definitely didn't feel as like wet or like sopping as the others normally are. Um, so yeah, there's still plenty on my skin though. So that is it for hair and um, for skin and stuff. So I don't really moisturise. I don't really do much. Um, I, I'm back at work now and I don't really wear makeup for work. So I don't really have stuff to take off like that. Uh, obviously, I would have done that before my bath anyway. Um, but I'm just going to take my plaits out and just kind of redo them. 
really people are probably going to be like oh my god like you're doing your plaits so wrong but this is the only way i can do them um so yeah if you have tips to try and get them a little bit tighter mine always go loose in this section i literally pull them as tight as i possibly can and they always come really loose in like this section here so yeah i try it's my hair is naturally quite curly anyway so i try and do them when they're wet um and then just re like i say redo them um like most like pretty much every day i just redo them um for a few days and um, my hair's also that hair which doesn't have to be washed every day or every couple of days because it just doesn't really get greasy it doesn't really get dirty um and yeah like i say it just doesn't seem to need that so this hair i've had it in for like two days in plaits already so this is the look after two days i love the fact that you can just see like the the colour what I have in my hair when it is in this style as well so I'm just gonna grab my hairbrush and yeah start replatting so I'm just gonna put some of this daily hair refresher it's an Avon one it is daily hair refresher it is a raspberry and hibiscus I think that's how you say it um like spray i think it costs like one pound fifty if you, i will leave the link to this um in the description box um through to my personal um avon rep page so if you want to get your hands on this then you can it's a it smells really nice and a lot of people do use it it's like a dry shampoo but obviously it's spray water based rather than aerosol based so i definitely find it easier to use on my hair it also kind of like dampens my hair slightly so it's easier to plait and as you can tell my hair is that hair which goes really frizzy when it's wet and then again when it's been brush so this is what i have to deal with so putting it in plaits is a godsend for me and learning how i could do plaits was actually kind of my first like lockdown achievement that's one side done that looks so much tighter than normal i literally was like pulling it in so much and as you can see it does it takes me ages because my hair like although i literally just brushed it it gets so knotted in the middle of me doing it so i literally have to like scrape it out but that side definitely looks better than normal although i kind of have been i have like these ones i have had in on like all day so not surprised and they look a bit rubbish now. Right, does this bit happen to anyone else? I always feel it's just me. Everyone else's braids always look really good. Right, these definitely look a lot tighter than all, but I also get this bit right here goes all funny so I could kind of sit down and try and pull it through and make sure it's like really tight and start feeding it through but yeah these definitely <laughs> that's really funny these definitely look better than they normally turn out like so um it is now half six and it's I'm getting kind of hungry so I'm gonna see what food I have and um, to eat and cook some food and then I'll show you guys what I'm eating okay so I decided not to cook for myself um and I decided to get pizza from Domino's instead so I always get the, their pick a mix deal thing what they do it's 24 pound unless obviously you add like stuffed crust or toppings and stuff um so it's any large pizza a scrumptious side which is either the garlic bread or the potato wedges a chicken side and two 500 ml drinks um which are 
coke diet coke water or fanta they offer um, and yeah obviously at the moment they're not it says it, they're not doing all of their pizzas but they've got four four veggie ones um, four vegan ones sorry like quite a few of their normal classic ones they just obviously don't have everything they've got their create your own one as well and um, so yeah it always seems good so yeah i will show it to you when it arrives um i always do it on the app um when i am doing dominoes just because i just find it so much easier and you can also track what it's doing so i literally placed it to like about a minute ago and it's already being prepped which i love and then you can track it right to your door okay so it's just a ride i'm trying to look up when i actually order it um I know Domino's always gets here really quickly as well. So I had order confirmation at um, 6.36. So I got the pick and mix deal. I got the, so it comes with a large pizza. It's um, I got the Meteor um, pizza, but I do a couple of swaps on it. I got the garlic bread, the seven chicken strips, and then two bottles of Diet Coke. And I also got one of the big garlic and herb dips as well so let's show you guys i will probably i normally order this and then i'll have it for like lunch the next day as well so there is my pizza so i add extra sausage and extra pepperoni and take the beef and the meatballs off but i'm pretty sure this is a barbecue based one which i didn't realize was because it smells barbecue there's my little mini pizza and here are my chicken strips so these are just normal chicken strips they're not spicy or anything so yeah i'm going to eat this and i'll probably be just watching some stuff on netflix i'm currently watching heartland um i really like it it's like the second time i've watched it all um i'm on season 11 at the moment i think and there's 13 seasons and i think there's a 14th season coming soon so okay so i've eaten what i can i've eaten about half the pizza uh four of the chicken strips and one piece of the garlic bread so this is what's left as i said it is quite a good deal um if you get this and you get two 500 ml bottles of drink and yeah i always think it's a good deal um like if you're splitting it between two people it's obviously a really good deal um, you can do your half and half pizzas, you both get a bottle of drink each and you can have different drinks as well at the ones what they have. Um, yeah, so it is a good deal. Um, like I said, I always go for the chicken strips because they're not spicy at all. They're just plain kind of chicken, just plain chicken strips really. The other ones on there are like chicken wings, which I think are a bit spicy, like chicken kicker things, um, which are a bit spicy as well. So yeah, I just go for this and... Yeah, it's just tastes so good. So I'm just gonna watch Heartland for a bit. It's like quarter past seven, and then I'm gonna watch the. I think it's the final of I'm a Celeb tonight, or it's the like. There's three people left, so I'm pretty sure it's the final. I don't know if someone goes home tonight and then they crown the winner tomorrow night, but I know they said it was gonna be finishing two days early because we seem to think it's because then everyone can quarantine before they have to go back to their family and be with their families for christmas so that's what we're assuming um but yeah i'm now being joined by my little dog she's trying to jump up so here she is here my little poochie hi poochie come on in so she's gonna come and join me i just had to close my pizza up so she doesn't eat it um but yeah, she can smell the food and she's just been outside, so wants the food. So yeah, uh, that is the end of my little end of evening beauty, get ready for bed with me kind of thing and um, what I do. So yeah, stay tuned for more Vlogmas videos. Um, I'm posting every day at 5pm um, over here on YouTube, but I'm also posting a new Disney inspired Christmas digital print over on my instagram channel every day as a countdown to christmas and i also um so yeah i've drawn all of them myself they aren't ones which are actually going to be for sale i've just drawn them as a countdown to christmas um i have included a couple 
in a giveaway which I'm doing which actually would have been drawn by the time you guys are seeing this because I would have drawn it today um but yeah so enjoy your evening and stay tuned for more vlogmas bye